Hey guys, what's up? It's Intuition Angel here, getting ready to read for the sign of Cancer right now, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so this may or may not resonate for all Cancers out there. Check your birth chart if it does not resonate. Go ahead and hit that like button down there, please, and thank you if it does. You guys can also contact me for personal readings, okay? Uh, my email is in the description box below for that. All right, let's see. What do we have for Cancer? Holy Spirit and Angels, what is the message for Cancer? Summon rising and Venus, thank you. It's time to release negative energy. Full moon in Scorpio. We also have you are good enough. Full moon in Virgo. Taking a leap here, uh, Cancer. Full energy. It's time to release it. You know, it's time to jump off that cliff. And you are good enough to jump off that cliff. To to do that, to make that business move, to make that whatever move it is for you. Could be in love. Okay. But you have to release the negative energy. All right, what else? Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon and Leo. Something about pride could be you or your person here. Oh, okay. Cancer, a lot of you um, could be wondering if you deserve something. And sometimes your pride can either make you feel like you're entitled to something or it can make you feel like you don't deserve something because something about your pride you know what I mean what else for cancer it's like something about your pride that makes you feel like you don't deserve something though oh excuse me we have believe in the impossible blue moon expect powerful change there's going to be some sort of a push here for you cancer mm -hmm. could be a relationship for some of you a lot of you, it could be a new job. I'm hearing both for some of you. Because that's how you manifest. When you release all the negativity, you start getting all the new stuff. And that's in every way, shape, and form in life. When you start believing that you are good enough. And don't be so hard on yourself. Don't let pride get in your way when it comes to the situation. That's what I wanted to say. Don't be so hard on yourself. All you got to do is take that one step to release the negativity and then spirit will do the rest. Especially with all these, uh, well, we're retrograde right now. So it seems like you can't get out of something right now, Cancer, because it seems like past negative energy is coming back, whether it be energetically or it be actual physically. Like there's an actual person that came back from the past and they're messing with your, your mind here, making you feel like you're not good enough. Take that how it resonates. All right, Cancer. All right, let's see. All right. Holy Spirit and angels, what do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? Holy Spirit and angels, what do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? All right, I'm going to be splitting the deck for Cancer. All right, so we have the chariot, that's your energy. We have the three of cups here. We have the six of wands, fire energy. We have the four of cups, water energy. We have the 10 of pentacles, earth energy, page of swords, air energy, king of wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Then we have the hangman, Pisces. Okay. I feel like you are moving forward. You're getting a lot of victory and success. Someone is definitely spying on you. They feel like they can't come towards you here, Cancer. Here's why they feel like they can't come towards you. Um, there could be people around you is what I'm hearing. You're getting a lot of attention and they're watching you get a lot of attention is what I'm getting, Cancer. I don't know who I'm reading for. You guys are gonna have to comment down there. All right. Why is the chariot here for Cancer? Someone raising Venus signs. Thank you. We have the 10 of Pentacles. Getting uh, a lot of stability in your life. Going towards a commitment. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're starting to get a lot of, of a great fortune in your life. Something long-lasting. And someone is very jealous about that. Mm-hmm. They're stuck, but they want to send you some sort of message. But I feel like you're not interested at all. And they're really burdened that you're not talking to them right now. They feel like you're the empress and they feel like they're your emperor. Clarify the Three of Cups, please, for Cancer. Three of Cups for Cancer. Someone rising Venus signs. 
Oh, hold on. Three of Cups for Cancer. Someone writing a Venus sign. Thank you. Queen of Wands. Not doubting herself. They do see you as someone that's very fun to hang around with. Um, very bold and confident. You do have a lot of friends around you right now. We have the Ace of Swords here at the bottom. Some sort of clarity. Um, they have to gain some sort of confidence to tell you some sort of clarity about something that was hidden. But I feel like you've, you, this is you. You're following your intuition here. And that's what's giving you this sort of success, this like glory, like you're really on the path of glory is what I'm getting. All right, six of wands, please, for Cancer, someone rising in Venus, thank you. All right, so we have the page of wands, starting something new. Why do I, okay, we have the ace of wands here. You could be dealing with a fire sign, don't have to be. But I feel like this person is coming off as someone really younger than you and all they can give you right now is passion and communication. When it comes to stability, I'm not sure. I feel like they're really sexually attracted to you here with the king of wands here. It's like they like taking action towards you because we have the king and the queen of wands here. So you guys are a match passionately for sure. It's like you, you don't mind the passion with this person, but it's like you want the stability. This is what you're focused on. Clarify the hangman, please, for cancer. Someone writing a Venus sign. There's a hangman here for cancer. Yeah, they feel like you're not interested. All right, so we have the devil here. Ace of Wands. The Hangman is also a card of sacrifice. Next to the Devil card, it gives me a vibe of sacrificing any toxic energy, any toxic people, your, even your own addictions to get what you want in life. I feel like someone was like, okay, hold on. Let me go back to that Devil with the Hangman. Tell me about the King of Wands. Please, for Cancer, someone raising a Venus sign. Why is the King of Wands here for Cancer? All right, that's Six of Wands again. Getting a lot of victory and success in whatever you worked on. I feel like someone in here wants to take a lot of action toward... They really see you as someone that's very attractive. It's like they can't get their eyes off of you. They can't keep their eyes off of you. Here, Cancer. This devil card might be they're, they're addicted to you. Let me clarify that devil card. Let me clarify it. Why is the devil card here for Cancer? Ace of Wands. I feel like for a lot of you, okay, the Seven of, seven of Cups. I feel like a lot of you, this person likes to maybe uh, distract you or so, sort of send you some sort of toxic... It's like you see what this person is doing right now, uh, Cancer. So it's like you're trying to delay them on purpose because I feel like you you see this person as, um, what's the word? Like they're too sexually attracted to you here. It's like they're addicted to you or something like that. So it's like you're like, whoa, and you're stepping back. And now that you step back, yeah, Queen of Swords just popped out. It's like you're like, I don't, I'm not with the games. I'm not with the toxic energy. I'm all about truth not passion. I'll take the passion, but I'm more about, I'm more about truth. You know, you can't be, you not when it's, when I'll take the passion, but not when it's attack, attached to toxicity or games, that's when I cut it out. And that's what you did. Clarify the four cups, please, for cancer. All right, so we have the knight of swords here. They're, they're kind of mad. It's like they're rushing in hasty and they're really nervous, having a lot of anxiety about this. They realize if they don't do this, it's going to be a missed opportunity if they don't come towards you. It's like they're still going to come towards you, but I feel like you have to, you know, stand up for what you want here. Cancer, you know, even though they're just, they're coming in playfully and they're coming in like watching you on your neck, like really like breathing down your neck is what I'm getting. Energetically, they don't have to be doing this physically. Clarify the Ten of Pentacles, please, for Cancer. Ten of Pentacles for Cancer, please. Someone writing Venus signs. So we have the Seven of Cups here with the Death card. I feel like someone here, okay, the Ten of Swords. I feel like someone has ended their options for a marriage. Someone could be coming towards you too, Cancer. This could be their third person watching them come towards you. 
Yeah, because I feel like there is a third party involved here. There's going to be a third party left, Cancer. And whoever is more stable, whoever is the Ten of Pentacles, whoever in this situation is the Ten of Pentacles, whoever is the one that's coming off as beautiful and stuff like that, they're going to like really, they're going to want to reconcile with this person. Clarify the Page of Swords, please, for Cancer. Page of Swords for Cancer. Page of Swords for Cancer. They could be leaving a toxic commitment. Yeah, they're stressed, worried, having anxiety watching you. Yeah, because you're their two of cups. And you make them happy, but you're holding back. Yep, you're holding back. I feel like they sat back and they realized what they've done here, but they really, they have the courage to invest, but they don't feel like you want it. They don't feel like you want it. I feel like the reason why you don't want it is because you fought for your own happiness. You fought for your happiness, so... It's like they're going to have to do a lot to get it back. I feel like for some of you, they're leaving a situation. Let's get some energy for Cancer from the Psychic Tarot. Holy Spirit and Angels, let's get some energy for Cancer. Someone rising in Venus signs. Okay, Foundation and Achievements came out. That's Ten of Pentacles energy. Then we have Material Harvest. What else? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Ah, discontent and boredom. Transformation. Someone is leaving a marriage, Cancer. I feel like someone is leaving a marriage, something that they invested in. I feel like it was toxic, though. And I feel like this energy here is like, I'm not sure if you're the one leaving the marriage or someone's leaving you or if someone's leaving a marriage for you, but it's foundation and achievements, material harvest and discontent and boredom. This person is like not content with what they invested in. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's, there's a lot of money coming in someone's future though. A lot of money, something very stable and found. It's going to be something that transforms everything but there has to be an ending first before something can start before this financial material change happens yeah i feel like someone's going to be left out in the cold though um someone is just like at a distance watching someone here trying to get more information maybe they found out something about this third party here this is a really long reading but i just feel like for a lot of you cancer like in your future, you're going to be getting whatever you want. It's going to be something that you built on your own here. All right, Cancer, that was your reading. I hope it resonated for you guys. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thanks. Namaste. Bye.